the uh, purpose of assessment is various and it depends whether you're looking at it from the learner's point of view or the institutional point of view or indeed the teacher's point of view. At the end of the day it's an opportunity for reflection and, and indeed measurement uh, and essentially to put it in simple terms, it allows the learner to um, estimate their own progress um, and for me it is primarily a reflective exercise. The power of authentic assessment is um, really important to universities like Sheffield Hallam and Salford, in my mind, because a lot of our students are very concerned with what is the relevance of what we're asking them to do. There's a lot of pre uh, pressure and stress associated with assessment and it's very important that assessment, like feedback that goes around it, is meaningful. So authenticity, authentic learning, actually helps to connect very clearly and strongly um, the learning and the teaching and the assessment to the real world and the destination that those students will head towards. Effective assessment is assessment that serves its purpose, um, obviously, but also does so in a way that it doesn't dominate um, the life and the learning life of uh, the student and indeed the academic who is responsible for it. Assessment, in my view, is integrated. It is part of teaching. So we often talk about learning, teaching and assessment. I don't separate them out actually. I talk about learning and I, in my role as uh, Head of Innovation and Professional Development, obviously talk a lot about teaching. Assessment is right in there, it's a device within that mix. Staff at our university, Sheffield Hallam, often refer to the fact that they can't get students to do anything unless the students believe they're going to be assessed on it. For me, that is a real shame and that's totally wrong and one of the challenges we have here is to shift that way of thinking about it, both in terms of the staff and, and the students. So we need to move away from that. We need to see that assessment is meaningful. How can we communicate the meaningfulness and the potential of assessment to and for learning?